Praxis Prepper. Hey everybody, this is Praxis. One plan that a lot of people have if there's ever an emergency situation and you know food isn't available is to go out and gather food from nature, go hunting. It's a terrible idea because I guarantee you a lot of people in your area have that same idea and while it may seem like there's plenty of animals around and available for you now, as soon as everyone else is eyeballing those animals, it's not really going to be a resource. But hey, let's forget that and let's just think about uh, what it's like to actually gather food from your landscape, you know, barring all that because it's a useful skill whether you're or in an emergency situation or just trying to enjoy and appreciate the land and the nature around you. This is my dad and he knows a lot about grabbing clams and we're gonna talk today about how to find a few different types of clams in and around the New England area in the mud flats and how to dig those up. Well in this particular area there's uh, four different types of clams. The quahog, uh, two versions of a razor clam and steamers, the soft shell clams. And my preference actually is the steamers. And the way I prefer to go after it is instead of just randomly going and digging with a fork, I use my finger to all those way down the hole. So I'm just poking my finger in and I can feel where that hole is going. Now you're not wearing gloves or anything like that. Are there any dangers associated with not wearing gloves while you do this? You mentioned razor clams and that sounds a little dangerous. Uh, absolutely. <clears throat> and in fact, I, I'm inclined not to wear gloves. It's not a, not a good idea, but I, I kind of do a better job of feeling uh, my way into it. And uh, you just got to be quite careful. <clears throat> you guys might be uh, recognizing similar themes that you've seen me enact in some of my building techniques where I'll be doing something and I'll say this isn't really the best idea but this is the way that I do it. It's usually me uh, precipitously hanging off of something or otherwise taking some kind of a risk. Uh, Actually, you just have to that recognize. Was a dud. <laughs> okay, that was a dud. Yeah, you know, it's it's. There's nothing wrong with taking risks occasionally. It's just important that you actually know what the risk is, and understand it, and be willing to suffer the consequences of that risk. We gonna look for another one? Yeah. Here's another one here. Okay. I'm pretty confident about this one. But you weren't confident about the last one. Well, the interesting thing, <coughs> I thought this was a steamer hole, but it's actually a razor clam oh, hole. Okay. And you can tell the difference between the two because just as soon as I get the feel of the clam, it's uh, it becomes obvious. That that was a dead shell. And what I'm doing is just working my way underneath, kind of get alongside the, the clam and dig in and get underneath it and loosen it up where it's got its foot kind of stuck into the mud. Okay, here's a razor clam. All right, there we go. And that's a live one? That's a live one, yeah. Not, you can see the foot. something else here. Right here, that's the foot, correct? Oh uh, yeah, that's the foot right there. Okay, just now these are me. razor clams and they're sharp on this edge right here. Well correct? actually, when you're digging in, they'll be, they'll be in the water in like that. And you can see how sharp that edge is right there. So when I'm going in with my fingers, you kind of poke into it, and it's very easy to get a pretty good cut from that. But that's the razor. Okay, and that's the basic technique. Oh, and River's been digging, and you just found that river? Okay, and what, what kind of clam? That is a steamer clam. Yeah, and wh which one do you prefer, River, between the steamers and the, uh, the razor clams? Yeah, oh, you like the razor clams, yeah. How would you describe the taste of the foot on the razor clam? It's pretty big. Yeah, not very much taste. Well, and that is about it for the video because while we are here searching for food that we can eat, we are also simultaneously serving as food for, uh, I've got to have several dozen biting little gnats that are uh, <laughs> drinking my blood right now. So we're going to cut the video off right there so we can swat a little bit more. But it's important to know your local environment and uh, you know, know what the resources are that are available there. Of course, during an emergency situation, it's nice to have that kind of opportunity for yourself. I would caution against having that be your sole plan because there's a lot of other people that are going to have that kind of sole plan as well. But that's still not a reason not to learn about the resources you have in your area. And if it only... Uh, causes you to appreciate the natural resources that we have around us and maybe you know do things in your life that might help to protect those things as opposed to destroy those things i think that it's all worth it so that's it i hope you have fun exploring your local environment whatever it may be thanks for watching
This episode has been brought to you in part by Prescott Caliber Club and Jeske Defense Strategies. Prescott Caliber Club is a federally licensed firearm manufacturer and retail store specializing in firearms, survival gear, and producing great online content. If you want to thank them for supporting this channel, go check them out at prescottcalclub.com. Please subscribe and tune in every Friday at 4.30 New York time for a new video. And if you'd like to support this channel, you can do so both through Patreon or PayPal.